The Woodcut Bowl Saver is an extremely safe and reliable bowl coring tool designed to make your expensive wood go so much further. Now you can produce matching sets of bowls from the same block of wood, regular grain or wavy edge burls, whatever the wood you want to save. The Woodcut Bowl Saver is the right tool for you. Why wait for the wood to dry before using it and risk the chance of cracking? Smart wood turners core out their bowls while the wood is damp and easy to cut. Although dry blanks can be cored as well, the process is much more efficient using semi-dry or green wood. I am using the 5 8 of an inch or 16 mm and a half inch 30 mm replaceable tip gouge manufactured by Woodcut to turn the bottom of the bowl to the desired shape. Keep the bevel rubbing, cut with the grain and slice the wood away. What a great feeling to see shavings peeling off really sharp tools. Remove the faceplate, turn the bowl around and fit squarely in the chuck. Tighten firmly. Proceed to face the front of the bowl and prepare to mark the bowls you will reclaim. It is important that we carefully consider the wood in the mother bowl and finished shape before we mark out the pitch circles on the face of the bowl. The aim is to save as much wood as possible without compromising the largest, most valuable bowl. Allow a rim of 1 inch 25 mm for wet wood or 3 quarters of an inch 19 mm for dry. Allow more for a designer rim. Do not let the bowl saver dictate the shape of the finished bowl. Once you have made a decision, mark the pitch circle for the largest bowl, then divide the rest of the face according to the number of additional bowls that you wish to core out. This will largely depend on the depth of the blank. A blank of 3 inches, 75 millimetres in depth, will produce two bowls. A blank of... Cut with the larger blade and remove the largest bowl first, then swap over to the smaller blade for the next size down. Bowls under 8 inch, 200 millimetres, will be cut with the small blade. With the bowl saver in the tool rest, we will now move the whole tool rest and bowl saver unit up to the face of the bowl. Slide the tool rest across until the tip of the cutter lines up with the pitch circle. This is called the point of entry. It is not necessary to have the pivot bolt in the centre of the bowl. Next, set the depth of cut, how far the blade goes into the blank, we have provided a template to make your own depth gauge. Calipers can be used. Place the large gauge against the base of the bowl and move the unit forward until the centre of the bolt is level with the point. Keep the cutter at the point of entry. If this is correct, then lock your tool rest firmly. Slide your tailstock forward, loosen the wing nut underneath the bracket and fit the morse taper into the taper of your tailstock. Lock your tailstock in place Wind the hand wheel forward a little to push the taper firmly in place. Double check all your mounting points, your tool rest, tool post, tail stock and the wing nut as well. Now we are ready to start cutting. Once again make sure that the chuck is tight then start the lathe. The hand positions when using the bowl saver are quite important. Bring your body close up to the bowl saver handle and apply downward pressure to the blade with your left hand. This will help dampen any vibration. It is very important that the blade is fed very slowly into the wood. Not hesitantly, but at a steady rate. There is no need to rush. The whole operation will take only two to four minutes. You can withdraw the blade at any time and start again at the same point where you left off. This particular bowl came from a tree a thousand years old so you can see that a few minutes time spent conserving your piece of this wood is going to be well worthwhile. As we progress, we start to come around into the end grain. You'll notice that the shavings will become small, short little fibrous chips. It's important at this time to stop and clear those shavings so that they don't pack around the blade and put extra strain on your lathe. Once you've done that, carry on as before. From time to time, a shaving will sit on top of the cutter and inhibit progress. Simply withdraw the blade, wipe it off and carry on cutting. Let the cutter work at its own pace. The bolt saver used patiently will do the job as effectively on a light machine as it will on a heavy duty lathe. Now as we proceed around towards the finish of the cut, listen carefully. You will hear a change in the tone of the cut. 
This will give you an indication of how much wood is left in the base now to cut off. Stop the lathe at this point. Just feel the bolt with your fingers and check whether it's almost ready to come off. You may have to do this two or three times, particularly when you're first starting out. Don't be afraid, if you go too far and the bowl does dislodge, simply switch the lathe off and retrieve the bowl. Congratulations, you have saved your first bowl. You will be amazed how easy it was. Proceed to remount the saved bowl using the same procedure as before. Create a new spigot on the bottom of the bowl. Remount the bowl in the chuck and replace the bowl saver. Loosen the clamp bolts and exchange the blades. The small blade now becomes the working blade and the large the lazy blade. Tighten the screws firmly and proceed to line up the cutter with the point of entry. Take the small gauge and adjust the depth of cut until correct. Couple the tailstock to the taper and tighten all mounting points including the chuck. You may wish to increase the lathe speed. Ours is 800 RPM for the smaller bowl. Proceed to make the cut as before, withdrawing the blade frequently to clear shavings until the bowl is ready to break free. Now, as we proceed around towards the finish of the cut, listen carefully. You will hear a change in the tone of the cut. This will give you an indication of how much wood is left in the base now to cut off. Stop the lathe at this point. Just feel the bowl with your fingers and check whether it's almost ready to come off. You may have to do this two or three times, particularly when you're first starting out. Move the unit, including the tailstock, back and remove the second bowl. Place the new bowl in the chuck. Replace the tool rest and turn a spigot on the base to suit the small chuck, 2 inches, 50 millimetres. Fit the small chuck, remount the bowl and hollow out the inside with a suitable gouge. We have used a 3 8 of an inch, 10 millimetre wood cut replaceable tip bowl gouge.
Now you have three bowls ready to be finished, turned and polished once they have completely seasoned. Granville Haworth of New Zealand produced this pile of bowls in less than one month. Music